beach. We've got the trippy packed. We are going to find ourselves a silver ghost. Hey! 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 Ah! Let's see where tonight goes. Oh my goodness. We're on, we're on, we're on. How? What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video. Hey, we are racing the sun right now. Sun's up there. Troopies sent me bogged right now. Very, very soft sand. I'm gonna race that sun. I'm gonna put this GoPro on my head. A little bit of POV. I'm gonna get out of the bog. We're gonna find somewhere to fish. Racing the sun. This is hectic. Wow. We are racing the time right now. Just only a couple of hours ago. I was a couple of hours in the inland getting harassed by flies and I was like, you know what would be real good right now? A silver ghost mission. So that is what we're doing right now. We're on the beach. We've got the troopy packed. We are going to find ourselves a silver ghost. We've been looking for a very, very particular place to fish. What I want to find is I want to find a gutter. If you don't know what a gutter is, it's basically a deep pocket of water where the water gets trapped along the coast. It looks like we've got a little bit of a gutter out the front here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to chuck the drone in the air. We're going to have a bird's eye view of that gutter real quickly. Here we go. There's that little pocket there. So that right there is a little bit of a gutter. You can see the top right hand corner, there's a bit of reef, a bit of structure, that's always good. And you see those waves there in the middle of the screen, they pitter away. So there's a little bit of a deep hole right there. First thing I want to do is get out a little bit of bait. There's a story behind this mullet and we're going to use this mullet for bait. We've got a bucket full of water. We've got a big dirty diamond scale mullet. That mullet's gonna go in there. That's gonna defrost. This is the fishing rig that we're gonna be running. That's a three-way swivel. Coming off that, we've got an 80-pound leader down to two 90 snelled hooks. Here, 50-pound, extremely cheap, shitty line running down to that big dog of a sinker on the bottom there. So that's gonna be our sand anchor. Hopefully that can hold us in place for the night. Hey, how you going? What are you guys doing in there? All right, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna dig into this drawer. We're gonna find a knife. Now this knife, I gotta give a big shout out to old mate over at r and Blades. Not a sponsored post, paid for this knife with my own money, but I tell you what, these things, incredible. I use this thing every, single day I'm out bush keeps an edge extremely extremely good sheath on it the knife is just you guys would have seen me use this all the time incredible I'm just gonna cut that on an angle like this that's gonna be one bit of bait that's gonna be two bits of bait and if you guys want to have a go or have a go and look at one of these knives what I'll do is I'll drop the link in the description of this video go check them out they're Australian made, they're handmade, they're absolutely beautiful knives. He does a killer hunting knife as well, which we got inside the car there, but the good knives, go check them out. So there's our bit of bait, two hooks exposed, boom. Oh, look at it! What a bloody sight for sore eyes! Let's lob this bit of bait into this little bit of a hole and hold on! Oh, that's dangerous. I'm just gonna check this bit of bait. Pull that sinker off the bottom. Oh, she bloody digs in the sand, all right. 
there we go. Snapped it out. Hey! <laughs> It is just about to go midnight. We have not had one sniff on the baits. So I'm gonna go do a little bit of a different plan right now. What I've had to do is I've just had to bring the troopy into the bush. There's no way we can sleep on the beach. The car was just getting covered in sand. That tent has just gone. Just getting absolutely hammered by the wind. We had that bait in the water for over seven hours, eight hours in the water and um, didn't even, had, didn't even get sniffed, man. The bait was perfect when I brought it back in. So we lost one bait. It's very strange. No sharks, no stingrays, no tailor, nothing like that. So it's very, very strange. But anyway, that's fishing. I'm gonna crawl up there, have a good kip, and then we're gonna, we're gonna rekindle this bloody Mulloway mission or Silver Ghost mission tomorrow. So I uh, guess I'll see you guys then. Good night, much love. Field day is signing out. Mwah. Welcome. It's so round two of chasing the elusive silver ghost. Right now the time is 5.33 in the afternoon. I've been driving around the entire day. Like I'm talking from 5.30 this morning till now to try to find somewhere to fish tonight. So that down there, that is seaweed. And it goes for hours and hours to the north and I'm guessing it's going to continue hours and hours to the south. So what we're doing right now is we're just slowly driving along the coast trying to find some clean water to fish for the night. But uh, i tell you what, my doggies, it ain't going to plan. But we're not giving up. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Let's go! Round two. This is beautiful. Still bloody windy. But I, it's looking pretty bloody good. Oh, that was good. We'll give it a couple of hours and see how we go. This is us for the night. Welcome to day three of the Silver Ghost Fishing Mission. We're on a brand new beach where the troop is set up. Once again, we're the only people on the whole entire beach. And yes, this is day three of trying to catch a Silver Ghost. The shark just came through and completely took everything off us just then. We just got railed by a shark. Time, 4.38 in the afternoon. So it's only been a couple of minutes since we just put that bait out. And uh, we just got railed by a shark. Hey! Doggies! Welcome! Welcome to day four. I'm gonna get a line ready. I'm gonna set up all my shit. We are gonna pull a slob out of this little hole tonight. We've got a star picket, we've got an ax, we've got a couple of bags of burley. We've got a burley bag, and we're gonna bring the fish to us, and uh, we're gonna get a fish on the deck. Look at the burly man, the burly's just greasing out right now. That's a beautiful thing. Here we have a beautiful, beautiful mullet. You guys, if you guys watched one of those last episodes, this is the mullet from that episode. We've got more than a couple. We've got about a hundred in here. That is a net full of bait. Doesn't get any better than that. So there he is, bait doesn't get any fresher than that. What we've done is we've plugged him in the back of the head, beautiful hook in the back of the head, a nice exposed 7-0 or an 8-0 hook at the back. So when that fish comes in, sucks on it, we're gonna get a, a hook up straight away. I'm gonna send this mullet out straight to that burly trail. Let's see where tonight goes. Bye! Good luck out there, big rig. You're gonna get absolutely smoked. I know it. Oh my goodness. We're on, we're on, we're on. We're on. Doggies! Oh, big head shake. Big, dirty head shake there. Come on. This is the first fish to come and sniff that little mullet. Ugh. We've got a fish on. Oh, it feels like a ghost, man. 
it's fighting exactly like a ghost does. Oh, oh, he's growing a set of legs. He is growing a set of legs. Oh, 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 it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. You're kidding me. There might have been a shark. Oh my goodness. Well, well, well. That's the first bit of action we've had in a bloody long time. And guess what? It's gone. I've got no idea what that was. Big head shakes, like violent head shakes. Like boom, boom, boom. Like I was frothing out. I was like, oh, this is a good fish. And then, ping, it's gone, dude. I don't know what happened, but it actually popped the braid. So that, it means, I don't know, there's a bit of reef out the back there. It could have taken me all the way out there, but I don't think so. We will never know. The mystery, it will forever be a mystery. So what I'm gonna do is, I've just tied up another rig. It just took everything. So I've got another rig here. These are 10 hooks on a snelled rig, 100 pound leader. Going down here to a big old dirty star sinker. I'm gonna lob this back out, chuck a bait on. See if we can get it again. Who knows? That was a big fish, man. Proper head shakes. Like, ns, ns, ns. Gone. You're kidding. <laughs> What's going on here? Something is on here. It's not a it's not a monster. Something's on here though. What do we got? Oh wow, what a beautiful fish. Bro, you've got to be kidding me. Have a look at this thing. I'm going to get him back in the water as soon as possible, but this is incredible. This is a cobia. We've just caught a cobia off the beach while Mulloway fishing, man. Look at this thing. Are you joking? You can tell it's a Kobe, you can see his spikes up here. That's insane. I want to get him back in the water as soon as possible. But that's hectic, dude. We just got a Kobe off the beach, off the beach while fishing for a silver ghost. Never have I done that before. Let's get this fish back in the water. Get him back nice and strong. Alright, buddy. See ya mate. Go, go, go. Dude. This is probably one of the hardest silver ghost missions I've done in my entire life. Check this out. 2.18 in the morning right now. There ain't no fish to be seen out there. I'm going to start packing up a bit of stuff. I'm going to crawl up there and have a hell of a sleep in the morning. Oi, in the morning. We're doing something good. All right, I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to get some shut eye. So! Good bloody morning, doggies. Have a go at that, would ya? Oh, beautiful. Hey, out we go. Little bit of a morning coffee, doggies. Welcome to day five of chasing a silver ghost. No, 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 not really. All right, this is the plan. Last night is the last night of chasing the silver ghost it's no more the idea was to make a beautiful silver ghost burger obviously there ain't no there is no fish around here right now last night we got a cobia probably should have kept that cobia to be honest but i don't know why i let it go i just felt like letting it go so we put it back for someone else to catch today we're going to be doing we're still going to be doing a catch and cook the title of this video is catch and cook we're still going to be doing it but what we're going to be cooking today is going to taste that much better actually what i had in my freezer are these sausages. Now these sausages right here, jalapeno and cheese, pork sausages. These sausages are made by me, 100% by myself. I shot the pig, I got the meat, I ground the meat up, I got the, we grew the jalapenos, I bought the cheese, but everything inside these sausages here, right here, are made by myself. They're incredibly bloody good sausages, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them into, turn them into burger patties, Watch what we make, it's gonna be that bloody good. It'll taste way better than a fish burger, but right there, those sausages, oh, hey, I've been hell getting into like, getting outside, hunting my own food, and then turning them into beautiful pieces of food. These jalapeno cheese sausages, bro, they're incredibly good. Run this knife through there, we're gonna pop them open. These things are delicious, man. Look at these chunky little bastards. That is a sausage. I know every bit of ingredient that went into making it because I made it myself. It's pretty healthy. It's delicious. Look at the big chunks of cheese. Look at the jalapenos. No! I just dropped my bloody jalapeno snag in the sand. Whoa.
All right, we're good. All right, let's not do that again. Here's the sausage, beautiful as ever. What I'm gonna do is get a knife. This is a, I've covered these sausages in what you call a hog casing. So if you don't, if you guys don't know, you've never made sausages before. It's basically like a pig's intestine. Every, most sausages are used like that. So I'm gonna take the pig intestine off of this sausage actually now. So it's no longer a sausage. We don't need that. Put that over to the side. I'm gonna turn this into a dirty, delicious, juicy beef, oh, it's not a beef patty. It's a jalapeno or jalapeno or however you wanna say it, patty. So I'm gonna turn them into a patty. Dude, look at the, look at the chunks of cheese and the jalapeno or jalapeno in here. This is a hell breakfast, man. I was starving last night. No dinner, thinking that I'm gonna get a bloody ghost. Spirits were high, none. All right, we've got a bit of a flame going on. Two patties sitting in a pan. That's gonna get launched on there. Coffee, good bloody morning. Have a go at the views, what a place to wake up. On point, eh? They're gonna be eating proper. Oh, you wanna smell the smells that are wafting around this camp right now. Have a go at this kitchen. We've just flipped over our burger patties. We've got two beautifully brown burger patties in there. Jalapeno and cheese, little burgers are coming up. Man, these things are gonna be hell good. Look at the kitchen, eh? Doesn't get much better, doggy. Here we go. The hell of breakfast is ready. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get an extra tasty, rich and smooth cheese. We're gonna lay a layer of that cheese on the bottom of that bun. Here we've got a little bit of chipotle aioli. Flip the lid on that. Flip the lid on him. I'm gonna go layer on the top, layer on the bottom. Over here, I've got the hella beef patty. It's not a beef patty. Chuck him in there. I'm gonna load the lid on top of that. Oi, look at this. Are you kidding? Dude, wrap your eyes around that thing. <laughs> that looks so good, man. This is gonna taste better than a fish burger. We come out here to get a silver ghost. We've been pushing it for the last four days. Absolutely no luck. So we had to resort to the old jalapeno and cheese snaggers. Turn them into a burger bun, but oi, that's gonna taste so much better than a bloody fish burger. Ready? Watch this. Oh my. That is a bloody good breakfast right there. Oh, that's off its head, dude. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That is the most ridiculously good tasting burger. Bro, what a way to, oh, I'm gonna have a bloody good day after this. But seriously, right now we're running on like two and a half hours sleep. That's how much sleep I had last night. Mm. Stayed up all night trying to chase that silver ghost. Look at that, dude. These things are off their heads, man. You wanna start a day? Come out here and have a little cook up a field day, dog. Right. It's ridiculous. That right there is a fine burger, man. Very good way to start a day. Today is day five of this challenge. Dude, I've never had to work so hard to catch a silver ghost in my entire life. Usually, we've got a pretty good catch rate with those fish, but this, this, this little chapter, uh-uh, it was bloody hard work. Four days or four nights fishing consistently, late nights, putting in the time, we never ever found that fish. But 
If you guys have ever been fishing, you know you never get one every single time. But honestly, it doesn't really bother me. Like, look at where we are right now. I've just woken up on the most incredible beach. I've been for a swim. I've smoked two coffees already. Now we're just sitting back having this hella breakfast in one of the best places on earth. So I can't bloody complain, can I? I'm not complaining at all. But that is it for me, my doggies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, make sure you bang that subscribe button. We're dropping a video every single week till the day I die. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Much love and I'll see you in the next video. If you don't catch fish every time, it doesn't matter because this is what it's all about. And this, dude, I made this burger. I made that, that beef patty or, or pork patty in there right there. It is actually off its head. All right, see you next week in the next video. Whoa. Ha! I want to see a ghost on the deck. I just want to pick one up and hold it and kiss it and make love to it. That is throwing arrows. Shit everywhere. Whoa. Getting all tangled up in the bloody fishing line. Hey! I swear to God, if we don't get a fish tonight, I'm gonna lose my shit. Uh, tonight is the night that we're gonna get a dog on the deck. Ow! Hey! Oh! It's 2.17 in the morning. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's 2.17. What we're gonna do is, obviously, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. me. <coughs>